Hello people, welcome to another video here on Nature Network. Today it is all about Mozilla Firefox web browser and how to install the extensions. Plus as bonus I will show you the extensions that I use in my web browser. I am very sorry that I did not create any tutorials for a long time now, but I'm simply, un I was unable to do that. There was too many mistakes I did and too much video editing which should go into it and so on. So, sorry, I could not create it. But, here you go. So, without further ado, let's start! Come on! So let's just open up Mozilla Firefox because we need it. I have it here in on the desktop and in taskbar. Just click on it. If you do not have it, you can go search it inside the start menu and click on it. Of course, if you have Mozilla Firefox installed on your system, if you do not have it, then first you need to install it and open it. Simple as that. <laughs> Okay, inside this window, first let's go and see what add-ons, extensions we already have inside Mozilla Firefox. That is pretty easy. You just need to go up here and click this open menu button, these three lines. Then go to add-ons, click on it, but as you see, there is a shortcut on the keyboard. Ctrl, Shift and A to open it without clicking these lines and such, if you want, go ahead, I will just click it over here. <laughs> and this window pops up, there is personal, personalize your Firefox, you can add the themes, change the themes, extensions and so on, but today we are talking about extensions only. So we need to click extensions on this left side. And here we have, under manage your extensions, we have all the extensions we have installed on your web browser, Mozilla Firefox. But in my case, there is none. So that is why it is empty here. But there is recommended extensions down here. If you want to add someone to some extension, just click at the Firefox. So, first extension that I want to show you is uBlock Origin, which is blocker for ads, those uh, nasty thingies ads that pops up on many different sites, you block it with you block origin or any other blocker, but I am satisfied with this one. So let's go edit. So you can search directly from here the add-ons by clicking in this white area uh, near the find more add-ons and just type in U B L O. And we are done, press enter key on the keyboard or just type in whatever name of extension you want or partial name, doesn't matter, you will have the results just like I have it here. And under here, here it is, uBlock Origin, 4.5 stars from 5, oh yeah that's nice, okay, <laughs> now just click on, on it. And that is, that is the website uh, and all the stuff. If you want to read it, just read it. I don't want to read it. And when you are on it, just click Add to Firefox, this big blue button. Wait a little bit. And now it shows you over here the pop-up that if you really want to add it, that is that pop-up requires this, all these permissions, so if you want to add it, just click add button. If you will click cancel, it will not add the extension. <laughs> okay, so here it is. First extension is installed. If I go back to Adams Manager, here it is, uBlock Origin. So now we can search for next one over here or again from here, but when you are searching from here, it always open up inside the new tab, so not search it from the site itself. So, uBlock is installed, 
Now let's go to the other extensions that I like on my web browser. Next is Pop Up Blocker Ultimate. Yay! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So basically, blocking pop up windows. Let's go and install it. Other search, just type in. As you see. Uh, okay, I misspelled. <laughs> While you are writing, it automatically shows you the live results, you know. And here it is, pop up blocker ultimate, just click on it. And here it is, add the Firefox, just like before, add, just like before. And one another thing that I forgot to tell you at the first one is that here is possibility to allow this extension in private windows. So you have also possibility of private browsing. So web browser will not record any cookies and um, some stuff will be disabled and that's it. So if you click on it, on this checkbox, like here now, then this extension will be allowed inside the private browsing. But I do not like in private browsing any of those extensions, so I will leave it unchecked. Now just click OK, I got it. OK, OK, got it. Not I got it. Lamentation. Next extension that I like, especially when I am, let's say, designing stuff, it is Colorzilla. Because I can pick up the specific color from the specific website without exporting the image, importing inside the application just to take that specific color. So let's go and select. Colorzilla. Add of Firefox. Add. Okay, I got it. And here it is. And that is over here. Colorzilla. You can just click on it, select the color. Color copy to the clipboard. To clipboard. And that's it. So next one uh, is Cookie Quick Manager for managing your cookies, exporting specific cookies, deleting, uh, importing specific cookies, etc. Let's go and search for it. So I do not need this window. Uh, yeah, in some cases, some extensions, when you install some extension, it shows you up the website of this extension. So you can see more information and stuff. Okay. So let's go. Cookie Quick Manager. Click on it. At the Firefox. And got it. And here it is. You can manage it, you manage all cookies, etc, 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 if you want, but I will not tell you how to use it, just know that it is there. So next is Google Translate integration, so you can just select text, Google Translate it, and translate the, trans that, and translation is done, <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> To Google Translate, here it is, at the Firefox, at, and here it is, okay, got it, and it automatically opened the add-ons extension manager and directly into the Google Translate, you have some um, stuff that you can set up here if you want, and now let's just go to the website of extensions, and here let's just click left mouse button click and uh, uh, hold it while all the text is selected you want to translate right mouse button click to Google translate translate auto in or however it, it is selected but nothing happens yeah it does not want to translate from the addons website and from addons manager it does not want but if we go to some other let's say Amazon.com, let's say, doesn't matter. Uh, you can select, right mouse button click, and here it is, it is working. So yeah, people, it does not want work here, over here. 
So next is read aloud that you can select text, press mouse button click and read that specific text aloud so the computer can read it to you. Okay? Read. Here it is. You can use any other one if you want. Read aloud a text speech voice reader. Add to Firefox. Click add. Okay, I got it. And here it is. Now if I click on it. Can't read this website. Okay, no problem. If you click this thingy button, you can select the voice and test it. But let's say for go offered in Zoom engineer. Zoom engineer. So select the text. Read. Google offered in. You see? That's it. That's easy. Easy peasy. Google levels. offered in. And the last extension that I use on this web browser is Beta TTV. If you are using, let's say, websites like uh, Twitch.tv, Looking Streamers, etc., some of the people using the these emotes that are supported by Bet Better 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 TTV extension. So if you want to use it, it is simple. Just install it to your web browser. So let's go. Better TTV, click on it, add the Firefox, add, and that's it. So, whenever you're uh, some chat or whatsoever using Better TTV emotes, it will show you directly into inside the chat. You know, how will it go? And basically, that is it for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, uh, type everything below this video in the comment section links are also provided in the description and that's it have a blast everybody see ya bye bye Stop.